Happy Thursday. We certainly have darkness until we get towards 7 o'clock or so, and it's pretty mild outside. Manhattan right now at 55 degrees. That sounds pretty decent, but we have some showers and a couple of thunderstorms pretty close to the Little Apple. And then for Topeka, we have the clouds increasing. It's mostly cloudy, 52, a southeasterly breeze close to 10 miles per hour. And here's some of the rainfall and might be a little bit of lightning in this. Belleville right down toward Clay Center in Fort Riley. Uh, maybe a shower developing really close to Junction City right now, and the movement on this is almost due east. I don't see much happening in our far southern counties, but right along I-70 north, there will be areas of rain as we go toward at least 7, 8, 9, and maybe 10. Should be a fairly quick hit, though. This is trying to race off toward the east. Here's a lot of the cloudiness we may see through at least midday, but clouds are breaking up just behind that rain, so there's a chance of becoming partly sunny as we work our way toward the latter part of the day. There's the breeze going at near 15 for Kansas City, blowing at 10 for Burlington, a good 5 to 15 across Shawnee County. County right now, all out of the southeast. Uh, should blow pretty much in the 10 15 range, I think, today before it really picks up out of the west northwest. Once the rain's gone, a boundary slides in, and the northwesterly breeze after, say, 1, 2, or 3 o'clock this afternoon might be in the 15 to 30 range, so just get ready for that. 54 in Kansas City for a feels like number. Lawrence just a tad cooler, but we're so mild that wind chill really doesn't come into play. And there's a look at your temperatures Memphis at 60, Tulsa at 62, Wichita at 57. But then it really starts dropping off, and this is the leading edge of cooler air that's going to slide in on Friday, and then we get even colder air for Friday night and Saturday, and we're going to have two forces merge. Cold wind coming down from Montana and areas of Canada and moisture sweeping in from the southwest. So this moisture creeping into almost Fort Stockton and also getting into El Paso and Albuquerque. That's trying to head toward us. Here's the leading edge of cold air that's trying to slide down. And those forces will meet to give us a chance for wet snow and mix as we go through Friday night and at least early Saturday morning. So there are the showers kind of clipping the northern counties this morning. We may go partly sunny for the afternoon. Really windy as that boundary slides across. And then as we go through Friday, the clouds start increasing as we hit morning. We might be clear to partly cloudy for a good part of the night tonight. And then there's your clouds. Here comes the developing rain and some mix for Friday night. The farther west northwest you happen to be, the better the chance of getting wet snow. And then on Saturday morning, we might be divided right across the upper tier with snow and the lower areas getting a cold rain. So just be prepared. There's your temperatures gradually climbing into the low to maybe mid 60s before things drop off late day and certainly a chance of going partly cloudy for the afternoon. Overnight, clear to partly cloudy early on at 38, but then clouds start increasing by daybreak and will be cloudy through Friday. But a lot of the precipitation holds off until almost evening and that's going to be some rain and some mixed rain snow and then by Saturday morning that will try to go to all wet snow at least briefly before shutting down and it looks like the vast majority of whatever we get will shut off by maybe 10 a.m. so by parade time much of that could be done but then the breeze will blow and it's going to be cold out there a number close to 40 with wind chills in the upper 20s on Sunday some clouds and then as we get toward say Monday Tuesday and Wednesday we'll get into widely scattered showers with lows in the 30s and daytime highs in the 50s.